Hey guys, it's Ross from the planet here, and welcome to Ricochet Lost World. This is a game from my childhood that I used to play quite a lot. This is actually a very childhood game of mine that I played a lot. And uh, we're going to continue the video right away because it's only the demo. I think it's 16 minutes on this, and I've already had a difficulty trying to get the this game. But anyway, let's begin to play the game. Uh, we are a new player. We are a full off gamer. Neymar and we will have the red shit, but yes, there are other things you can choose from. So yeah, it's pretty good, and there is a level editor that you can move on yet, so I'll probably do another video. Anyway, let's say, let's go. So, we have easy, normal, hard, or intense. I usually play on easy, but then you can't die. So we'll go normal for now, and we'll do... Just try and get through all these levels before the end of the video, or at least before the demo. Now, right, here we go. Ready. So we'll skip that into the abyss. So basically this is the game and how this works is this is your ship down here, those power-ups that you get. And you can basically use these power-ups to your advantage. So there I got a protection bar which stops the ball from falling down from here and there's lives and stuff on the side. So right now I have two iron spheres which are the lives. I have two lives right now. And what you have to do on each level is clear all these blocks and then as you go on you can collect rings as well which you can use to upgrade the ships and buy new ships and change the ball colour. I think you can do that in another ship. I'm not sure about this one because they're all different. But uh, I chose this one because it's one um, that I adore. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know why it's lagging. It's, it's slightly lagged when I'm playing it. I probably should have put the animated background on. Yeah, you, but this does run really smooth. It's like a game from 2004, I think, so very bloody old game. But uh, I do adore it. It was one of the first games I've played on the PC, so I thought I'd do a video on it. Just a little memorial video on um, showing you guys what it is. And you can download this from Big Fish Games. If you go to Big Fish Games, you can download it. Um, you can either download it or buy it from the thing. If you download it, then you get six minutes worth of a demo. And then you have to buy the full version if you want to. Oh look, there we go, that's a life. There we go, you can see now I have three. Uh, oh, that's a good power-up. All these ones, um, mainly all the green and yellow ones are good power-ups, but if you see any that are red, they are bad ones, so you want to stay away from them. And as the levels go on, it gets, you know, progressively harder and harder. But yes, from what I can see on Fraps, this is running at 30 FPS. Oh, come on, hit the bloody last block. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes it takes time to last. But I don't know how long I'll do on this. I might do 30 minutes, maybe. I don't think it's too long, so I don't know how long it's going to be for. It's only 60 minutes, and it goes pretty quick. Ready! Get that. Ah, here we go. It says here, watch out for the red power ups. They typically modify your ship or more in ways that you do not like. Click them out, and continue. Ah, see, these were the rings I'm talking about. So if I just fire that there, you can see it says you have now collected the power ring by hitting it with your wall when you have collected 35 rings. You will earn an extra iron sphere. But you'll five of the rings in a single level to earn a bonus of five extra power rings and earn an extra point collecting power rings is not necessary to advance to the next round. So they're not really optional, but they do give you points. Uh, which is kind of pointless, really. I mean, unless you're going for a high score, there's nothing in it. But I do know another game which I think is Ricochet Infinity? I think it might be Ricochet Infinity, where you actually get power ups. Um, and you can actually change ships and you can buy it to get new ships and new balls and stuff like that. So, yeah, look, I just got a red one. You can see now my ship's tiny. It doesn't help me when I hit these bloody blocks because it, it, it leaves you open to, you know, losing your life. Oh, no, let's not make that any smaller. Oh, for God's sake. No. Uh, lag. Uh, right, don't get a million power ups in one go. This game will not like you. Yeah, yeah, this this is a very good game. I played this a lot as a kid, because at the time I didn't have my own computer. Like, I did way, way back in the day, but I didn't have anything like this then, back in the day. You know, I had the Starfield, like, screen so I could just stare at that browser. All you had was pain, really, back in the day. When I was around. So there wasn't really anything to do. I mean, YouTube didn't come out until, like, what, 2004, 2007, I think, YouTube came out? And Facebook and all the other stuff followed in the late years. But this was actually the first game I ever played on PC, which was in my living room, because we had a family PC, and my mum was really into playing these type of games. And I downloaded this one because we had a shared account. I used to play this for hours on end, or at least until the demo time ran out, which I 
you never considered buying this whole game. But yeah, it's quite legendary. There's a million ripoffs of this, like uh, Bricks of Egypt 2 is another game I played, which is a lot bloody hard to do. And there's another one called, I think it's Magic Ball Z, which is like a 3D version of this, which sucks because it's not even horrible, but it was also really annoying to try and get running but this is a game I actually enjoyed, the Ricochet series. And there's four games. There's Ricochet Infinity, there's Ricochet Lost World, Ricochet Lost World Recharge, which I don't think is part of the series, it's just like a modded version. And then I think that might be it. Ah, look, there I lost the life. But, uh, yeah, I think that's the series. Hang on, let me recap. Ricochet Infinity, Ricochet Lost World, Ricochet Lost World Recharge, and... No, I think that might be it. I think it's the fourth game, I can't remember the name of it. Oh, there we go, look at Mr. Ring. So that's basically all you do in the game. Just hit the Ready. get power-ups and you'll get to uh, find your own way through the obstacle course of brick. Ugh, oh, I hate these blocks, they take like three hits to break. Ah, look, this is the gun power-up set. The power-up connects lasers and blasts to both sides of your ship. Despite the lasers, press the left mouse button to retain the second laser. Increase your firepower. So now I basically have lasers. So if I click the mouse button, I can now fire lasers. So ah, look, now I'm gonna get um, more firepower. I can get more firepower. I don't want to throw all blocks too soon because I want to make all the rings. Come on, get the ring. Get the ring. Get the. Oh, nice. No, there we go. Get that ring and then we can. It's actually quite an intense long game. Right, is that all of them? Oh, there's one up there. Kill, 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 kill. There we go, blow that up. Alright, it's right there. See, I, ideally, I, I need a, I need the, um, the, I think it's called the ball attachment power-up, which basically allows you to pull the ball down and choose when you want to fire it, but I don't have that yet, because it's only like the second or third level. But uh, as, a, as the levels go on, they get progressively harder and you get more and more power up that you have to use. Yeah, I love the advertising up in the corner there, like where it says Ricochet. And uh, yes, apologies if this is running in a horrible. Apologies if when I upload the YouTube video, it's letterboxed. It probably will be like that because I haven't found a full screen mode in there. Oh! You, uh. Right, go up there and hit the bloody. Yeah, it takes time. Because, uh, is this game where you can do it? Oh, it's not. Um, I thought, because in one of the games you can hit the right mouse button and you can actually control where the ball goes. I don't know, I can't remember which one that is. It might be Infinity, I think, where you can do that. Ah, there we go, I think that's right. That's all it is. Oh, no, it's not. The one there, it's not down. It's not open, I don't care. I don't care about wings anymore. Ready. They're not worth anything, don't call them. Oh, and by the way, if I'm playing this and the video just suddenly cuts out, that's not just a scratch because my demo ran out. So the video just ran out of scratch because I've been playing for too long. And then that's what happened. So it's not the end of the video, it's just the game ran out of time. It's actually quite quick. And what I did on one of them is I downloaded it and I used Cheat Engine to speed up the game because I thought it was so funny. And it actually sped up my, like, how much time I had. So I did about an hour session in three minutes. And I was like, well, that was a waste. I don't know. I just like doing that to games. Like once I've beaten them, just going back and just messing around. But yeah, this is what you do. I hope you guys can hear the sound. I'll turn it up a bit. Hang on. Uh, I'm gonna use my headphones to do this. There we go. The sound's a bit low. Because uh, that's a problem with most of my videos. Um, I've noticed that after recording them, the game sound is way too loud. But through my headphones, it sounds so much more quieter. But uh, I figured out the reason why. Because this only has one input. This only computer I've seen um, so far that I've owned that has one bloody input, which is only the headphone input, there's no mic input, so my microphone on my headset doesn't work, and I have to record using the, the, the what was that? I have to record using the microphone built into my stupid laptop, which is kind of annoying, because it means the audio quality is not as good, so that's kind of annoying. I think they're saving up and getting like a Razer Play gaming laptop, but they're like two and a half grand. So yeah, I was needing to get a Razer Play gaming laptop, it's like two and a half grand. I thought, why 
bother doing that when I'm practically doing a PC build for that much that's even more powerful. Because uh, my future PC that I want to build is quite powerful. I don't know if I'll get it done this year. It's quite expensive, but that's not for Android to build. So it may come next summer, probably next year. Sometime. But uh, it's not too bad, this laptop. It's not the best for gaming, I'll give you that. I just prefer my Samsung. Much better. It would probably be able to handle this pretty well. This does okay. It's not as good, but it does okay. I'm actually surprised that when I play Minecraft, it runs pretty decently smooth on low settings because I thought it was just going to die. And I put, this, I put this computer through hell from day one. It's like, okay, you're a Dell computer from like 2008. Here's a modern 2014 game. Try and run that on two things. And it's just like. Anyway. Oh, look, there's the other one. Ricochet Extreme. That was the other one. Ready. That was the four games in the series. Infinity, Lost World, Lost World, Recharge, and Extreme. Damn it, I swear there's no way to avoid that. If there is, and you found it out, then please tell in the comments how to do it. It's actually, it's actually quite relaxing this game to play on easy. It's really a game to pass the time. It's, uh, it's, it's similar to, uh, like, Pong. And that started coming out like Pong on the Atari. Back in the day, we've heard of Pong we never heard. If you haven't heard of it, just go Google it and find out what it is. I just had to do the market of this. Because this was, um, how, this was popularity back then in video games. And this, this is what I've really loved. I love the game. Kill everything. Ah, ah, ah. One job. Ah, get the ring, get the ring, get the ring. Oh my god. Right, screw it, screw it, screw it. I'll get it. No. Come on, is that the only one left? Oh, come on, it's the only one left. Please get it. Um, 
parts of the disconnect like uh, Oh, 
slide and then catching it like directly. That's it, hit it that way, right, then up, then up, and down a bit, too far down, missed it, missed it, missed it, missed it. Oh, come on, let's just move on already. Seriously, I'm not in the mood for three good shots. Because it's just it sound like Peggle this game. There we go, finally. Oh, that's it. So now we get the acid ball. Which, as you can see, if we get it, it corrodes. It corrodes. It corrodes. Corrodes blocks. Or it's corrosive. As many words today. I do feel better, though, because um, there is a reason I didn't do any Minecraft. I said I was doing serious daily, but yesterday I was tired and brain. I thought, you know what? I'm going to give myself a day off. May do an hour special to make up for it on Monday. Perhaps um, I will do that. I make an hour special again. For an hour earlier than usual, we can do another hour special so we can get a lot of stuff done. Because mostly at the minute it's just mining and stuff like that. Boring stuff. So before we do an hour special, we can do this all the way. Ooh, gun! Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, I got a spare ball. Oh, oh, 
too good. Go down, hit that. Boom, done. Ready. How many more levels should we do? I think we'll do this level and then another one. And I think we'll end it there. Ah, we have to hit these things. These white things.
missed their last level. Ready. They did, didn't they? Right, let's do this the last level. Oh my god, it's coming towards me. Destroy the blocks from here. <laughs> oh yeah, I like I like these levels. Really cool. Okay, right, we'll do this in the last level. No, don't give me a small ball. Oh, that's a good thing. Eight ball. Seconds he got completely annihilated. Ready. Alright, last one. This is the last one. Ah, this is the Five ways to go. Yeah, they do adore this game. Yes! By the way, they will be more hard time to so make the game a little bit harder. I don't know. editor which is new where you can edit tracks and make your own tracks. Hang on, we go file um, and then you can do this. Ready. You can test it like this, which is pretty cool. And you can change power ups and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. And then we'll just suspend. Oh no, they're gonna suspend me all the way back here. Oh, no. Anyway, that's pretty shit Lost Worlds. I will leave a link in the description for you guys to go check it out. It's a pretty fun game. I'm gonna head off now because I feel like playing this one up. Anyway guys, that's it for this game. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to see me do another review of game, I've got a few others I can re-download. It's worth the time for. 
Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It's always appreciated. And I will leave a link to my, uh, also my amazing photography channel. If you just go subscribe to that, it would really be appreciated because I do quite a lot of videos on there nowadays showcasing my work because uh, photography is something I want to become in the future. Anyway, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed playing this. It's really retro game. It's brought back so many memories. But anyway, I'm going to go now. See you all next time.